You're very welcome to the Maddox Art Gallery in Westbourne Grove in London for their latest exhibition, Icons. Here we are in a photoshopped world. People want to look their best. You don't necessarily adhere to that. I could sit down and try and think of the most perfect things to sum up my work, but Ringo Starr did it for me, and I steal it off him because there is an amazing landscape photographer called Ansel Adams. And Ringo looked at my portfolio and said, Andy, you're the Ansel Adams of faces. Uh -huh. And I think, you know, that, that's exactly what I do. I try and capture the nooks and crannies. The geography. Uh, exactly. Yeah. The face scapes uh -huh. of, 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 of a human face. We see Robert De Niro, one of the, the most famous cinematic actors that has ever lived. What do you see? He came in wearing a sailor's hat uh, and a cardigan <laughs> and sat down next to me, put his arm around me, like, like a grandfather, spoke very quietly. Uh -huh. He said, call me Bob. I said, Bob, um, do you get really uh, miffed when people do that impression of you from taxi driver? And he said, I don't mind it, but have you seen Al Pacino do an impression of me? So this is Robert him. De Niro doing an impression of Al Pacino doing, doing an, an impression, impression of, of Robert De Niro. It was a split second yeah. thing that happened. Are these simply a byproduct or when do these become art? Yeah, but this is part of the working process of, of an analogue photographer. You have a reel of film, you chop it up, and you put it on photographic paper, yep. and you make a positive of the negative, so you can sit down and choose your favorite pictures. So this one yeah. was history. You didn't like this one. Yeah. And what's this tell me then? For what I'm doing at the time, yeah. this would be the best one. Now, a portrait full of character, full of personality, full of Harrison Ford, uh, but a guy who often has the reputation of being quite a, an earnest or serious sort of guy, and look, look what you've got out of him. Everyone have said, Harrison's hard work. He doesn't like interviews, he doesn't like photography. I thought, I want to play this differently, where I'm only going to talk about things that I know he likes. And you can see in seconds, his face being quite standoffish, just changing into yeah. a relaxed face. And I said, so Harrison, when have you ever last met the bat in front of the camera? He said, Andy, in 35 years, no one's asked me. They're, they're all scared of me. <laughs> so I said, do you want to? He said, I'd love to. Uh -huh. And that's where, once he started, yeah. he would not stop. I'm allowing them for the inner child to briefly yes. come out. I'm allowing them to be silly, uh -huh. where normally people want them to look iconic. I'm, uh -huh. I'm giving them a little vignette into something new, which they all adore to do. Yeah. Can you honestly say to me, you can look around this room, you can look around this gallery, and what we're looking at are 10 minute shoots by and large? 10 minutes are because I go into a shoot wanting to do three things. Yeah. I want an iconic looking shot. I want a shot that's a bit more quirky and silly. That's step two. And then at the very end of the shoot, I tell a joke. <laughs> I tell the same joke <laughs> to every single person. Right, it's gonna, be, would it make them laugh? It, what if it doesn't? That adds to the photograph. Because I've got some pictures where they're warring with laughter, and some pictures, they don't get it. Yes. And some people look quite disgusted. Uh, so, so, disgusted? Yeah, yeah but it's, quite, it's quite a rude joke. So what's it like walking around this gallery and realising, knowing you did all that? It's a bit surreal because normally I do a photo shoot and I'm looking to contact sheets and to choose a picture. And then the picture is printed by my printer and it's then sent off. Uh, so I hardly ever get to see finished prints, especially blown up to this size at, at Maddox here. As I sit and study what's uh, in your book, Icons, it's amazing. It just is absolutely phenomenal who you have been able to track and rightly called icons. Well, Andy Gotts has been a privilege having access to you and, and seeing this amazing work. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, sir. Thank you.